real quick and i know this might not apply to people on the call or maybe maybe it, it does because maybe you're you have a business you have a concept but maybe you're not necessarily making money yet or doing transactions yet so here are three here are three different types of businesses you may be able to start well, two strong ones and then a, a last one is uh, you brainstorming right but again let's say you start you start off you have your student loan forgiveness now you have two hundred dollars a month that you can spend or invest in your business you may be thinking devon two hundred dollars a month bruh it's not enough money i can't start a business with that all right we already proved that you can register your business you can start your ein you can have your dungeon battery you can have your business credit card you can buy your custom domain you can have a working website all for under 200 dollars. right that's month one now month two you need to actually start selling stuff right so now that hundred dollars that you spent on filing fees you now have again right because you're not you don't file every single month but you are paying for your your hosting and all that but you have at least a hundred dollars a month now that you can spend so number one i suggest drop shipping if you don't have a lot of capital to start off with if you don't and this was a mistake that i think i made early is and i bought a whole bunch of inventory with the credit card but and then i needed to pay the interest on the credit card so with drop shipping you're not buying inventory up front you only pay once people actually purchase an item so it's a very efficient way to start and launch your brand, all right? So with dropshipping, you use a third-party print-on-demand service to make and ship your products. You only pay when there's an order and you keep no inventory. So let's say, and now this is a Dianu shirt. I'm I'm positive they don't do dropshipping because their stuff is a little too intricate. But let's say this shirt, right? naturally costs $20. The drop shipper charges $20. I, as a company, can be like, okay, I wanna get this shirt, I'm gonna add African print on it, and then I'm gonna sell it for $40. I only pay when someone goes to my website, they click, oh, I like this African print shirt. They pay their $40 plus shipping. I get that $40 plus shipping. And then automatically, you can set this automatically with your website. The order gets sent to a drop shipping company. They charge you the $20 for the shirt and whatever shipping costs for them. And then they send the shirt and you keep the difference. You just made $20 from $0. All right. So the pros one, no money up front. All right. You don't have to pay for inventory up front. And number two, no inventory. You don't have to have boxes on boxes of stuff in your garage or boxes and boxes of stuff in your house, in your, your parents' house, whatever it is. You only have what is at their warehouse and it ships whenever someone orders it directly. Con, the profit margins are a little bit smaller than if you were to buy 100, 200 shirts from Alibaba or from your local t-shirt manufacturer, right? it's going to be the profit margins aren't going to be as high that is a a slight con especially if you have high volume if you're selling 100 shirts a month this might not be the, the best one for you. you might do better or make more money buying 100 shirts and then shipping it yourself or partnering with someone else to ship it rather than drop shipping you might be losing out on probably ten dollars per shirt another con is there are some limitations when it comes to the design and products that you can purchase, that you can create, right? So again, this this shirt, guarantee you can't drop ship a shirt like this, right? It's, it is pretty pretty intricate. But there's tons of other just like nice lo logo tees, mugs, carpets, portraits, paint portraits, backpacks. There are tons of items that you can do, but if you're like say really creative person, you're trying to do something completely out the box that fashion has never seen before, Drop shipping ain't it for you, <laughs> all right? This is a great start for like a simple tee, polos, sweatshirts, mugs, all that good stuff, all right? Three examples of places you can go to start drop shipping today. One, AliExpress, owned by Alibaba, really good. Downside is usually it does come from an international company, so shipping can take some time, 
but they have tons of stuff on it. Number two, Printful, another good one that we've personally used. And then another one is Printify as well. Okay. Drop shipping, pretty good stuff. I will say that typically from, from my experience with Printful, it's, it's like their job, right? Their job is to send out these packages. There's people there every single day from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. where they're doing nothing but making sure orders are coming in and sending them out. So in the case that, you know, you're working your nine to five and you're tired and you just don't want to send out packages one day or you're traveling to Northern California to visit some people for the weekend and, you know, you're not going to get back home for another two, three days. Having the drop shipping company do it for you makes it so you don't have to think about shipping. So the next one, let's say you, you don't want to sell physical products right let's say you want to sell or you have a talent you have a gift and you want to figure out how to transform that gift into a service so you can create a service-based company so this is someone who is performing services or tasks for people or companies based on your skills some some good benefits one no money up front right you are the product you are the inventory you are the the value so you're not paying really any money up front. Now, maybe you've taken some courses to become a better teacher. Maybe you've bought some equipment. Uh, maybe you went to school for engineering or for, for being a doctor or being a CPA. But initially, right, as you being the service provider, there's no upfront cost. You're not buying products, you're not creating things. Number two, another pro is you get to do, hopefully, what you love all right so if you love poetry and you love rapping the fact that you now can get paid to do that is dope if you love teaching people about business and talking <laughs> the fact that you can people can pay you to come out and talk to them is amazing to me still um, i promise you i still get nervous when i do speaking engagements but the fact that i can get on stage or get on a zoom and talk which is something that I love love to do is talk about business. Something that I love to do, and I do it all the time for with Sinclair for free. I need to start charging her. But the fact that I could do that and get paid is still ridiculous. It's still it's still crazy, right? So find a way that you can do what you love, do what you naturally love to do, and get paid for. A pro and a con is you set your own rates. As an entrepreneur, as a service based provider. Right? You're not working on nine to five anymore. There's no one saying that you're worth $10 an hour, $15 an hour, $30 an hour. It's you telling the customer, hey, based on my skill set, based on the outcomes, based on the value that I give, this is my price. And that can be a good thing or a bad thing because, you know, I think especially, you know, myself and possibly other entrepreneurs out there, there's a lot of imposter syndrome. Right? And there's a lot of self-sabotage and a lot of maybe even lack of self-love to where you don't know what your own value is. Because you've never had to put your own value on yourself. Right? Value's always been given to you by different people. But now as an entrepreneur, as a service-based company, you now can say, no, 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 no. My time, my gift, my value is this much. And it can either be way too low because maybe you have you know, not a lot of experience or you don't have that, that self-love yet or it can be just right or maybe too high, but people are still willing to pay it because you give good outcomes, right? So that can be a pro and a con. Um, one other con with a service-based is kind of a, a low scalability. And I think there are ways around this, but let's say, you know, you're, you're the company, you're the value and you're doing paintings. You can only do so many paintings a day. Right? You can only do so many paintings a week. I can only give so many speeches a day before my voice starts to give out. So sometimes there's low scalability. The, the rates that you charge for that can, can help that out to where if you're charging $10,000 per painting, you don't need to do a lot of paintings. You need to do one painting a month, one painting a week, sell it and you're good. Um, there's also other ways to digitize paintings and create other products to scale up but low scalability can be a con. Um, a few examples are one, you could be a CPA, you could be a virtual assistant, 
right? You're helping businesses, you're uh, keeping their accountings and their, their records virtually from home. That's your skill. You're organized, you know, accounting. Number two, motivational speaking. This is a great one. A lot of people are doing this as far as doing motivational speaking for high schoolers, college folks, uh, a very niche population that has gone through a particular struggle that you've also gone through, but you've overcome that struggle. You've already you know, broken down that barrier. Now you can go back to the audience, go back to that community and bring more folks with you. Right? Or number three, a photographer, videographer, these are also, these are all uh, ideas for service-based companies. Um, now, what are some ideas that you have? These are just like a long list and feel free to put your own ideas in the chat or unmute, but you, you could do something in writing and dancing and singing, coaching, cooking, painting, blogging, podcasting. Literally, you can make money by producing stuff yourself. 